Hey, what's up guys? KJ here with another video inside of Studio One 3, the professional version. I must mention that I have the professional version because what I'm about to show you guys, I'm really not sure if this is available across all the different versions that Personas has available. But I'm going to show you anyway, just in case. It, it seems like this function should be available. You know about the drag and drop function, right? I love the drag and drop function. It is wonderful. I feel like it's a workflow enhancement. It speeds up my workflow to be able to go to something. And even the thumbnails helps you identify what they are. You know, what the, what the plugins that you're plug you, you know, the plugins or the instruments that you're pulling in, which is awesome to me, you know. And you can turn it off and on. But I like them on, you know. I, you know, I'm used to reading words, but if you like me, you, you, you know, Studio One comes packed with a lot of stuff and it just makes it much easier to, to look at a picture right quick and just drag, drag that or, oh, okay, that praise you. I'm just going to bring that in right quick. You know what I mean? Instead of trying to quench your eyes and, you know, trying to, you know, you get my point. So what, 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 what I'm doing is I have a session in front of me and, uh, I, I wanted to show you guys something. I don't know if this is being talked about, but uh, oh, not to mention you can drag over effects and things like that on, on any given channel region. All right. That's cool. Right. But I'm not sure if you guys know this and maybe you do. Maybe I'm just totally new to it and, you know, just discovering things that people already know. But I haven't seen anything on this subject. You can also drag over your presets that you made in previous sessions. Now, <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You can set your presets inside of Studio One and save them. Right? That's what I did. Like when I when I when I do something, I want to remember what I did. And usually, I'll make a preset. Right? But some of these presets here, I'm not using because this is a different type of session. It, it, it requires a different type of process and the EQ settings and things like that, right? Now, presets works for, in my opinion, something that you're constantly, you know, constantly doing. In this case, I have a lot of GMT presets because I, I am constantly mixing those projects to be avail available on the website. And most of the times is is recorded in the same studio, which I get most of the times the same quality unless it's a different type of song and the drama switched up the snare or something like that and then you know i'll still pull a preset and kind of do some tweaking from there but say you do something in the project and you don't save your preset instead of going into that project and, and pulling it up and try to set the, the you know save a preset and then come back into this session you can actually go inside the file uh, the file menu and find that song in this instance this song right here I did not save a preset you know this way but the preset is within the session so what I did was I went over here and I just right clicked on it and what you have to select is show package content once you do that there is an arrow that will pop up in view all right you click on that and it, and it drops down the the presets of the channels that you have in there which is cool I'm not gonna go to that one I'm gonna go to this one I was gonna show you that one but I, the um, show the contents was already selected so I just want wanted you guys to see that see the arrow pop up you know I thought that was cool <laughs> But anyway, I'm inside the session now and I have all of the waves, you know, this is all of the all of the things, all of, all of the waves, all, you know, everything in, the, in that session. But I also have access to the presets itself. All right. Let's go back out. That was the audio, by the way. But here's the song right here. The performance. OK, we go on the presets. Now I can go to those channels. And I just thought this was pretty cool. So as so far, what I brought in was the drum channel preset that I have. Then I brought in the kick, then the snare. And I like to bring in, let's say for instance, the hats. Now, if you click on it, it'll give you, you can actually bring in the preset one by one. 
In this instance, I'm gonna drag the whole photo over to hats and it brought it in. All right. Let's uh, X out of that. Let's see. A snare low. Let's see. Do I have a snare low? Where is it? Snare bottom. We're gonna go with that. Bam. Brought in my presets from the other session. My time. Okay. Time two. Boom. All right. Time three. All my settings are the same from the other session. I got the lead box, the guitar. These are presets. Or I can just pull them in one by one. You know? Which is pretty cool. So I just thought I should show you guys that. That that's that's pretty awesome. So so dragging dragging and dropping to a whole nother level, bringing in some of everything you can bring in your audio from another session, and you can bring in your presets from another session without saving them up here. Because sometimes you know we don't remember to save everything here, you know, and and, and sometimes I'll give you another scenario where where I'll have a preset here and I'll go into something one of the plugins and make a, a fine adjustment somewhere right and then close out it and say yeah okay that's better it pops a little better cool and then forget to update that preset right here you know you can replace the, the preset that you saved or you simply don't want to do that you just want to you know presets are presets they just presets it's just set at something just to give you a start you know a, a, a point to start from and then you go from there all right but say you want that same exact you know the mix was perfect you just go ahead and drag it from over here you know just thought that was pretty cool to show you guys all right so th that's all i wanted to show you remember music is art you're the artist paint your picture